Welcome to Inspired Cooking with Lana. I am a life coach who loves to cook, so thought I would combine the two and bring you good food and food for thought. So let's get started. So today's inspiration is I have a tower garden that is actually in my living room, and I really need to um, harvest some of the greens that are on there. And I typically do eat a salad every day for lunch, but uh, I really want to just uh, make some salads ahead of time so that I will just have them easily for the week and I want to show you how to do it. So right now I'm going to go to my garden in my living room and harvest some vegetables. So this is my tower garden. Um, it's indoors, it's in my living room and I just wanted to show you some of the wonderful vegetables that I eat on daily and that we are going to feature in this video today. So I just wanted to show you all the different varieties that I have in here. So this is parsley, and down here we have some wonderful kale. I'm trying to show you the kale here. Here's the kale. And over here we have Swiss chard. Look at how nice and big my Swiss chard leaves are. This is all Swiss chard in here. Here we have more kale. And then down here I have arugula. This is all arugula. Just keep moving around here. And this is just a wide leaf. I have no idea what this lettuce is. I know it's a lettuce form and I'm not even sure what that one is. Then I just have some regular loose leaf lettuce. Up here I have some thyme. And we have dill there and garlic chives. So I absolutely love my tower garden. I have it year round in my living room so that I can eat salads regularly. And this will be the feature for our salads today. So I'm back and I have harvested some kale, Swiss chard, some loose leaf lettuce and arugula. So I'm just going to um, you know, I like bite-sized pieces. I like really small pieces for lettuce. I don't like to have to fight to um, eat the lettuce. So I'm just gonna chop this up, you know, as I wanna chat with you about a few more things. So today is about convenience on creating some salads so that I can, you know, have some healthy meals for lunch. And, um, which again, salads are easy for me because, because again, I have my tower garden in my living room. Um, but there are other things when it comes to health that are not as easy for me. Um, you know, when I say the word discipline, you know, what, what comes to mind for you um, or, or lack thereof, you know, for me, it's a lot of times it's discipline around, you know, a commitment with, with exercise. I love to exercise, but only when it's, when it's fun, you know, so I have, you know, I do think creating a sense of fun around something that you want to accomplish is a good thing. But then when the weather's bad, I usually use it as an excuse, you know, not to exercise. So, you know, so what are some things in your life that you would like to be more disciplined at? So now I'm um, just tearing up my Swiss chard. That was the loose, loose leaf lettuce, and this is Swiss chard. And if you are interested in any information on the Tower Garden, you can... Um, reach out to me on my website and I would be happy to share that information with you. Um, so, you know, when it comes to, again, going back to discipline, you know, one of the things that my friends Sean and Jennifer always say is, if it's not scheduled, it will not get in. If it's not scheduled, it's not gonna get done. And, and that is absolutely known to be true. So, so number one, you know, to create more discipline is, you know, first and foremost is creating a schedule for it, and then keeping the commitment to the time around it. And, you know, oftentimes, you know, we procrastinate on those things that we, we don't really want to do. And so how can you, how can you make those things happen um, in an easier way? So, you know, again, we've, we've talked about the scheduling. Another thing would be um, to create accountability so if you can either check in with a friend or um, that was arugula, I'm talking as I'm peeling. So we have done 
blue fleece lettuce, arugula, Swiss chard, and now I'm doing kale. This is kale. So I like having a variety of lettuces in my salads. So we're just gonna chop this all up, and then we I have a plethora of ingredients, and we're gonna make three different kinds of salads, so stay tuned. All of my greens are chopped and mixed together. So what I have here are salad jars. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with salad in a jar. This is something that I, when I was a flight attendant, I would do because it's very easy to travel and you have everything in one jar. So um, for this though, I am not going to put the dressing in the jar. If I were traveling, I would put the dressing in the bottom of the jar and then your hard vegetables first. But since I'm not traveling, I'm gonna leave the dressing out and just start with the salads. So the first salad that I'm going to make is a taco salad. So you wanna put your hard items in first. And I think what I will put in first is the meat. So I have some ground beef with taco seasoning. And then to that, I have added some pinto beans. And I'm just gonna add this to the bottom of my jar. So I love taco salad. Um, and this is just leftover from leftover tacos. So we have the meat. And then I have lightly sauteed some red and green, not green, um, red and orange peppers with some red onion. And <clears throat> they still have a little crunch to them, but I do like these just a little bit cooked in my taco salad. So again, lots of color, a variety of vegetables. And then we're going to top that with some cheddar cheese. So we have, and of course I like my cheese. <laughs> so here we have ground taco meat, pinto beans, red and yellow pepper, and red onion. And then we're just gonna fill this with the greens. And you can just really pack in the greens. And here we have the Mexican taco salad. And now I'm just gonna put the lid on it. And what the dressing is going to be, so salad one. And the dressing for this is going to be equal parts sour cream and salsa. So we have, <clears throat> you know, the sour cream is just a little thick so I am going to just thin that out with a little salsa. We're gonna mix that up. So instead of equal parts, I decided to do two thirds salsa and one third sour cream. I think that just makes a nicer thickness and um, equal parts for the dressing. So the second salad is Greek, and with this you could easily do chicken or lamb or beef or whatever you want. I'm going with um, vegetarian uh, Greek salad. And so I'm going to start with cherry tomatoes. And of course, I always like to use organic. So next for the Greek salad, we have some red onion, and you can go as generous or light as you want on this. And if you don't want such a strong onion, a green onion is a nice substitute. And from here, we are going to do cucumber. Can you guys see this here? <clears throat> so we have cucumber. And then with most Greek salads, we have to have Greek Kalmata olives. So I'm gonna put those in. And I really like peppercini peppers. So these are Greek peppercini peppers. We're gonna put those in. <clears throat> and 
And then for our cheese, for Greek, we are doing feta. Some of it's wanting to jump out of the jar. There we go. And now we're gonna fill it with our greens. So you can really pack in the greens. <clears throat> And here is our second salad, a Greek salad. So for this, I want to show you what I'm going to do with the dressing. I've made this dressing in another episode, but it is worth making it again for you guys to see because it is truly my favorite go-to dressing. So my favorite go-to dressing is um, a third, a third, a third, a third of olive oil. I'm actually, actually using a quarter of a cup. So a quarter of a cup olive oil a quarter of a cup honey, and a quarter of a cup rice wine vinegar. And I live on this dressing, so I put it on most of my salads. Um, so we are going to add salt, and pepper. And then you just shake it up. And this is my dressing for the Greek salad. And now we are going to move on to our cob salad. So again, I'm making this without meat. I'm just feeling like um, eating more vegetables and I usually eat meat at night and so I have decided to make my last two salads without meat. But for the cob salad, you could certainly add ham or bacon or chicken. Um, you know, often a cob salad does come with meat. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add two boiled eggs and I'm just gonna put them in a hole because I can cut them up once I turn this upside down for my salad. So we're just adding two boiled eggs and of course um, some whole tomatoes. You always want to put your hard items in first. So we have whole tomatoes. I am going to do cucumber and red onion with this one as well. we're going to do blue cheese. So I really like blue cheese on my cob salad. And fill it with lettuce. How simple is that? So I have three salads for the rest of the week for me and uh, with the cob salad, I will probably do a ranch dressing and just a basic store ranch dressing with that. So again, I just wanna ask you, what, um, what areas in your life are you procrastinating in and how can you um, just move forward in that area? Is it that it simply needs to be in your schedule? Is it an accountability partner perhaps or a life coach to help you through that? Um, you know, what is it that's going to just nudge you on the things that you might be procrastinating against? I know I certainly have, um, I have some of my stuff, so I'm talking to me as well. <laughs> All right, well, if you like this episode on my salads in a jar, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website at inspiredcookingwithlana.com. Thanks for watching.